all right so now we have created the routes for home and the about page and also we have added our templating engines now what i'm going to do is add css to it all right add some styling now you can use uh, bootstrap if you want you can use a css framework whatever but i'm going to use my own css styles all right now css is a static file right now it's not like in normal HTML CSS where you add an HTML file and you add a CSS file and you then call the CSS file from the HTML file now it doesn't work like this in Express right because we don't have HTML we have EJS right so we need to tell our application that our CSS is a static file all right so Express provides a way in order to serve static files okay and that is with the help of a built-in function called express.static Alright, so first we need to specify that. So I'm going to come up and here I'm going to comment and say serving static files. And here I'm going to use another new method, alright, which is app.use. Alright, and it will, it will let you use whatever code that you paste inside of it. Okay, and as I said earlier, if you want to serve static files we need a built-in function which is express dot static all right and now what we're going to do is here we're going to create a folder called public and whatever static files that are there whether that it is an image or a css or even html we're going to add inside our public folder all right so here what I'm going to do is inside our single quotes I'm going to say public by doing this we are creating our public folder as a static folder so whatever files are inside there are all static files all right so this is the middleware for serving static files all right now inside our public folder what I'm going to do is create a style.css file all right and for right now, I just want to create a background color and set that to red, All right? Just for testing purposes. And if I go to my views, layouts and header, now here, we'll do the same thing as we did with normal HTML, all right? Which is link tag, rel style sheet. And for href, we're gonna add slash remember to always add slash all right otherwise you'll get a crazy error later on so style dot css and once you save that all right there we go now the css is working all right if you don't use if you don't add this middleware let's see what happens save that and it won't work because in our header.hs our application will not know where to find style.css once you add this middleware which is app.use express.static and public what happens is that whenever you search for a static file right just like it's happening right here it's searching for a static file which is style.css it will know that our application will know where to look it up all right in our case it's inside this public folder because here we have added public so that's why we need to add this middleware for serving static files so if you save that and there you go the CSS works otherwise CSS won't work all right and always remember to add a slash in the front now what I'm gonna do is I have a pre-made CSS uh, classes which I'm going to be pasting here if you want to use mine version you know I have a link in my description which will take you to my github page and there all the files of this project are present just download that and inside my public folder I'll have style.css just copy and paste that up all right if you want to use your own classes go ahead if you want to use bootstrap go ahead as well all right if you want to use bootstrap all you need to do is in your header.ejs you need to copy and paste the CDN and it will work so what I'm going to do is paste the CSS that I already have 
all right and I'm gonna save that and I'm not going to go details into CSS and stuffs because this video is all about Express, right? So what I'm going to do is go here and then boom. Now all these changes have happened because of my CSS that I've just added right now. If I go to my home page, there you go. Now I also want a navigation bar right here, all right? So what I'm going to do is create that navigation bar. So let me go here and inside our views and inside our layouts, what I'm going to do is create a navbar.ejs file, all right? Because I'll create the navigation bar here and then call this file in my home and about.ejs file, all right? So let's create the navigation bar. I'm going to say header. Add a div of class container and all these classes I've actually styled it in my style.css file all right so I'm just adding the classes and then I want a logo um, for the href I'll leave it like that I'm gonna add a class of logo and I'm gonna say express and then add a span tag with the class of green text I'm gonna add die here all right and then I'm gonna create the navigation links so let's go, let's say nav and then ul li a for the href let's just leave that as it is the first link is gonna be home that will take me to home page right and let me just copy this and paste it three times the second one will be about and the third one I'm gonna say go to diary and we actually haven't created this page right we're gonna create it later on but basically this link will take us to the diary page okay where all my records will where we will see all the records or inputs that I've added so let's save that and I will call the navbar in my home.js, home.ejs, and about.ejs as well. So instead of header, I'll say navbar. And I'm going to copy this and paste it right here in my about.ejs. All right. So let's save that. And let's see. All right. So there you go. We have this navbar okay so now when you click the links it's not working because we haven't actually added the links in our href all right so we're gonna add that now so if I go to navbar again here when I click on this home page I want to go to my I want to come here all right I want to show this page which is the root path so what I'm going to do here is just hit a slash which is nothing but the root path all right for about I'm gonna say slash about because that is the path for about and for go to diary I'm gonna say slash diary all right and here also I want to give a slash save that and I guess in my home.ejs I have an anchor tag here that that says open your express diary and when you click on this button I want to go to my diary page all right so I'm gonna say slash Diary. refresh it and let's see if this works or not so if I click about okay so it's taking me to about page right if I go to home it's taking me to home page now if I go to diary I'm getting an error which says cannot get slash diary because I haven't made that actually alright so now what we're gonna do is create the diary page 